Welcome to the first demonstration of ultrasonic spectacles and waist belt for visually impaired and uh, blind persons. So here we are using the two modules, one is at the spectacle section for obstacle detection at head level and another is waist level obstacle detection for that we are using the two ultrasonic sensors. One ultrasonic sensor attached to the spectacles and another ultrasonic sensor attached to the belt waist section and it has the attached with the servo motor. So the, here the servo motor purpose is so it will keep on rotates in uh, left to right rotation and whenever the uh, respective direction obstacle detected then automatically the respective voice will be announced through the speaker using APR 33A3 voice module. So for example if uh, the servo motor while rotation if it is at uh, front side then if any obstacle detected in the front side then obstacle detected front side uh, message will be announced from the speaker and for if it is left side left side obstacle and if it is at uh, spectacle section then head level obstacle detected so totally four voices left sorry right front left and head level so these four voices will be announced from the speaker by using the APR 3033 voice module so we have interfaced this input and output modules to the PIC 16F 72 microcontroller so it is a 28 pin microcontroller so which will taking care of input from this SR04 connected H uh, pin number B0 and B1 and next this ultra waste level ultrasonic sensor interface at the A0 A1 so based on this detection the uh, system will control the servo motor which was connected at pin number A5 and the voice modules are connected at the C0, C1, C2, C3 pins so here the two inputs and servo motor and API 33 are the output modules to the controller so API 33 is nothing but audio playback recorder so we predefinitely we need to record the voices in the inside this module so it has totally uh, 8 sections in our project we are using only 4 sections in the respective 4 sections we need to record the voice initially with the help of this microphone and then after the respective voice will be announced by using the programming language from the PIC microcontroller so let us see demonstration so for real time demonstration we can directly mount this to the waist level and this one is at the head level so here we set the limit for the obstacle detection is for demonstration we kept a limit as 30 centimeters when the obstacle is less than 30 centimeters then automatically respective voice will be announced so this is on power supply to the system and re in real time we can use the power bank directly so no need of any AD, AC 230 volts AC input for demonstration we are using this adapter but in real time we can just connect this USB to the power bank right so initially the beep will be come out from the uh, speaker Let us see the voice announcement. Right, if no obstacle, we can see the servo motors keep on rotation. I mean, it will scan the obstacles. So, if the left side obstacle detected, so left side obstacle detected. Right. In this manner, we are going to provide the guidance uh, by detecting the obstacles at waist level and spectacle head level, so that we can guide the blind and visually impaired persons uh, to avoid the obstacle uh, hitting.